So what's going on guys? I appreciate you tuning in to another video. I have a special treat for you. I have Lamar here from Welsh Mountain Apiaries and he is taking a look into our nuke and hive. Uh, we've had a little setback so he is going to dive in and see what actually is going on. We've been texting and talking on the phone and he just wanted to get his hands on and see you know what what's going on what are these bees up to first glance what do you think there is uh it's really nothing i don't see any virgin queens but there's there's a capped queen cell here yet so right here's a capped queen cell it looks to me like it's going to be hatching here any day right there okay and so i'm just gonna i would say get an eye uh come in here again in another probably next week and see if that queen cell hatched the now, only thing i'm concerned about is it's not open i'm gonna i'm just gonna very carefully check this thing to see if it's actually good that's no, not it got cold so that one's empty okay so now the other thing is is there another queen is she out on an orientation flight? Is she out on a mating flight? We don't know that. Let's see if I can find any virgin queen in here. Now, can you describe what it would a virgin queen would look uh, like? If I don't see it here, I'm gonna go okay. in there and see if I can find one. If I can't, I'll try to explain. Um, usually, they're they're a little smaller. They look right like a queen. They're a little bit smaller, and they're always running. They're real. They're fidgety. They're just running around in among the bees and uh, because they're scared they're usually fighting it out with the other virgin queens that are in here and so if there's they're fighting for their life basically is what okay. it amounts to and it just hatched now the only downside would have been all them thunderstorms we had here last Ooh, week there's a bunch of ants too yeah i see that is all the thunderstorms we had is that because it's probably close up to, up against it? Well, if she's flying. Yeah, it is. They're in between. All right. They're bringing in a lot of honey. That's for sure. There's no brood there. I think it's. I think it's absolutely amazing. You know, these bees. They seem to not even touch you, and I hop in there and. They, they're so attracted to me. <laughs> they start stinging. Yeah, there had... definitely was a virgin queen in here. There was a virgin queen. There was because there's uh, right here. You see the remnant of the cells. Uh, let me see mm -hmm. where it's at now. Right there. And okay. that is a cell that got chewed off by the by a queen. All right. And now the cells that had her in that she emerged from is are gone. They're chewed back by the bees themselves. But she chewed this and open and destroyed the queen that was in here. Uh, where is that? Right there. That's gone. Okay. So when a virgin queen hatches, how long usually is their mating flight? Uh, once she on, hatches, on yeah, about two weeks. So, so it's, I like to see her laying eggs. So it's out of the hive for two weeks or? No, she's in here. She would be in here but it goes about two weeks from the time that she hatches until she's made it okay. and she's laying. And you said Monday, you seen them. There's another, this was another. These are just queen cells that they made. Mm -hmm. And I often get a little concerned when I see them making queen cells after there was a hatch queen. That's one of the first signs that the queen that was in here, the virgin queen was killed. In my, that's my, mm -hmm. uh, that's usually my take on it. When I start seeing them making queen cells, I get concerned. This has been a bad spring for mating locally. What a time frame to look for them to come back. Yeah, evenings would be a, if they if they aren't in here in the evening. I think sometimes they can be hard to spot. So do they come back every night? Mm -hmm. Oh okay. yeah, they do. They come back every night and they'd be in here. So if you get in here early in the morning or late in the afternoon, uh, they should be here. Okay. Now does it have a big uh, butt like no that's that's the difference she okay. has no hair on her back on her thorax uh so that's different than a young bee that hatches would have hair on 
She uh -huh. has the same shape as a queen. Okay. So, like your your worker bees, when they hatch, then, now you don't have any real young ones in here anymore, but they all have hair on their back, the uh, on the thorax, that upper part right uh -huh. there. Uh, queen does not. So, that's okay. that's a, that's bare. The other thing is they, they just have a shape of a queen. Yeah. Okay. And I could easily pick them out, but that back is not swollen. Like, look here. Uh, where's that? There's a bee here with wax on its back. On its bottom. Just seen it go through there. There was wax. It's a, it's a bee that's making wax right now. See, the wax glands are on the bottom of the bee's abdomen. Right. That's the wax glands right there on the bottom. And from day 12 to day 17, your bees make wax. Right here it is. Right there. Right there. If I can catch it. There's wax. That's amazing. That bee is making wax right now. That's cool. And they'll, they'll, uh, other bees will take that wax and they'll chew it and they'll work it into the octagon shape of the cell. And so since there's a honey flow coming in right now, even though there is no queen here, they still are making wax. They're still drawing comb. Uh, generally, if you'd have a queen in here, it would force the bees to make uh, draw more comb faster because they're, the queen would need the space to lay eggs and it would force your colony to expand. Right now, they're merely expanding as a result of a honey flow going on. Mm -hmm. And so they have to have space to put the egg surplus honey right now, and that's why they're drawing comb. Uh, you're soon going to have your bees out of that age between yeah. day 12 and day 17. We have to get new bees in here. So uh, after looking at it, what what do you suggest? What would be... I would keep an eye on it now. You said the bees, the queens only hatched, what, the beginning of the week? Yeah, last time I looked it was my... Was and they were still Monday. capped at that yeah. point. Yeah, I would say they're probably here. I would guess that they're on orientation flights or they're okay. actually on meeting flights right now. All right. Now, the storms that we had... They work sort of late in the evening, mm -hmm. I believe, um, except for one in the middle of the week. Mm -hmm. So do you think maybe that could have potentially killed it? I lost a queen in my hives from that. Okay. One of my colonies yeah. had a queen that it got washed out of the air. It disappeared. I seen the day that it was there and the next day it was gone. All right. And right after a hot, it was right after a hot thunderstorm. And the time to check that would be in the evening. Yeah. To see if it, mm -hmm. all right. Check it in the evening or early morning before orientation flights would start, usually nine o'clock okay. in the morning. All they right. would often start between 9, 30, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock to four in the afternoon is often four, 4.30 uh, is often your main flying times. Okay. So those are the times. So if I would check set. it and it's it's not there, then we need to Then we should it. probably get, either get a mated queen and I could, I could get a, get you in contact with a local queen breeder right here in the area. Okay. And we could get two queens for you. Or you could try again with this hive, but you're gonna make honey a lot better if you put a, a mate right. queen in now. Okay. The colony's starting to dwindle. Yeah, it's, are getting yeah it's, every time I check it, it you seems there's less, less and less, yeah. so. It okay. would probably be wise to, the next next thing would actually be get a queen. The thing you wanna make sure of is you don't jump the gun and put a queen in there, and there is actually a mate, queen, I mean right. a young queen in here, and she mates, and she comes back and they kill your queen and then you wasted a queen. Mm -hmm. As long as there's a virgin queen in here, they will not accept your queen that you put in. Okay. You could get a queen cell and you simply pull two frames or three frames of brood, however strong you want your colony to be when you start it. Two frames is generally what I do. I'll even do one sometimes if there's a good honey flow going on. Okay. I put a queen cell in that's ready to hatch within 12 hours from the time I, I get it in hand. Okay. Put it into the hive right between the frames, right? Like I would do a queen cell or a queen cage and she'll hatch and within 14 10 to 14 days she's laying a queen will be laying within three to five days now is that an easier way to introduce a queen a queen cell rather than a, in a cage not necessarily it's just a lot cheaper okay so a queen is 25 to 35 dollars gotcha. a queen cell is between four to five fifty all right big difference in yeah, price. That is. so in our case we're making hundreds of hot nukes uh it's not really, uh, not really an option for me to buy queens. Buy queens. I just simply buy queen cells. All right. Or I make them. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, had, I had 11 in here. Man. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> surely, surely one is going to come out of You would think. I om I'm almost certain okay. there's a queen that something's going to happen out I'll of this. I'll have to keep my eye on it. I'll come back I at, probably, at if, if anything, I would probably risk putting a queen. If you want it to 
to risk it. I would probably put a queen in the in the weaker colony and let this one go for now. Okay. And keep an eye on it for another, say, seven days. Okay. And then you got a queen in there, and if this colony doesn't pan out, then you by the end of the no, another seven days, um, you could just simply put that colony into here because that colony would take the queen, and the queen's laying in there. Okay. And then th you could just put it in here. If this queen uh, does actually, this virgin queen that's in here successfully mates, then you have two yeah, colonies. Too high. Gotcha. All right. That, that, that would be what I would do if it'd be in my yard. I wouldn't put a queen in this column. All right. It's too quick. You put her in the brood box. Yeah. For the nuke, I mean. That's right. All right. Yeah. Makes sense. So that's why I like to hold off and make sure, absolutely sure, that there's no queen in there. Okay. But neither do you want it to turn into a laying worker hive either. Yeah. And we would be back from square one. That's exactly right. Yeah. Then you're back where you started. Okay. Bees could be fun. They can also be very frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was saying the other day, uh, to everyone that we talked on the phone and you know, I've been listening to everything that you guys you've been telling me mm -hmm. and you know, it's just You know, it's, you know, the Lord has a plan and mm -hmm. didn't that's work right. out. That's so, right. And that's that goes to everything. The like, Lord right. has a plan for you guys, mm -hmm. for us, that's right. and also a plan for these bees. So, you know, you live and learn that's and right. you move on and we figure out the next step. That's right. And I'm glad I'm glad you're here with me, man. I really appreciate all your help. Thank you. And you know, you guys check them out. Welsh Mountain Apiary. I'll leave their website in the description. All their contact information. Uh, you know, you guys sell honey. You guys sell nukes. Yep. You know, anything that has to do with bees, they have it. So go check them out. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah. Well, thank you for tuning into this video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your life to watch ours. If you guys like what you see, please hit that thumbs up. Don't be afraid to leave any comments. And also, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys on the next video.